Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your January 15th through January 21st weekly tarot reading. Now we're going to start with love, <laughs> we're not going to start with love, we're going to start with uh, general and move on to love. Um, this is the Ask Angels deck. What I want you to do is think of a question and at the end of the reading this card will be revealed. This is where you ask your angels a question and they give you an answer. Okay. So go ahead and start think of, thinking of your question and at the end we'll let you know what the card says. Right, so uh, just remember that this is not a private reading, it is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember that time is fluid, so this may happen uh, this week, it may have already happened, or it could happen, you know, next week, whatever. Time is fluid. may feel like you're going backwards all right you may be feeling like you're going nowhere okay like things are going backwards for you you're wanting your ships to come in you're wanting things to change but it looks like there's no forward movement I think there's a feeling of uh, there's lack of happiness okay in a situation you're just not happy you're just not happy with this outcome you've been waiting for things to change but it's not. It's like things are getting worse instead of getting better. Um, your intuition is trying to tell you something, by the way. Are you listening? Are you? Are you trusting your intuition or not? That's the question. It looks like um, you're definitely being given an answer from your inner guide, but you're not listening to it. You're in a state of denial, perhaps. Um, it really feels like your visions of the future are not playing out the way that you had hoped, all right? You may be feeling um, like you don't even want to talk to anybody at this time. You're sick of fighting. It's like, I don't want to fight for this anymore. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight for it. You know, you're taking this time to, to really think about your future. It's like we're stuck at this point. There's no forward movement. We're living in a state of, uh, of uh, choppiness, you know. It's like things are a little choppy in your life. And, you, and you, your, your inner guide is giving you answers, telling you what to do, but you're just not listening. It's like I just want to bury my head under the pillows and not accept the truth. Okay, so it, you know, it's a time of solitude. It's a time to sit back and reflect. Okay, it's a time, it's time out. Okay, it's time to take a time out. And that's probably what you are doing is taking a time out. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, or a Virgo, um, could be any other sign too, because I don't really like to, to say that it's a sign, you know, because we all have different aspects in their chart. Um, things aren't moving forward. Things aren't getting better and you know it. Okay. I feel like there is somebody that is watching this is is contemplating a change in their profession it's like I'm not getting what I deserve you know you feel like you're not getting the money that you deserve um, you're not your your worth isn't being valued okay and that's why you're reflecting it's like you know what if you're not gonna value me if you're not gonna see what I'm worth and what I have to offer and all the skills that I have then I think I'm gonna have to go someplace else it feels like you are sick of fighting with people. It's like 
somebody is against you in probably the workplace if this is you in a job there's somebody against you and it's like they're throwing you under the bus left and right and it's because you are you have more skills than it they do and they don't want they want to excel they want to climb the ladder and so they'll take you down if they have to that's what i see it's like you're you're sick of it i'm sick of it i see that kind of energy i'm going backwards instead of going forwards i'm going backwards here and it isn't making you very happy it's like you've been patient with this person or this corporation or whoever it is you've been really patient and you've given a lot to it um really put in a lot of hard work and they're just not giving you what you're worth all right it's like you've worked hard for the status that you've created but now somebody else has come into a picture come into the picture and they're jealous of you and they're trying to throw you under the bus left and right okay and you know it and it's like you know exactly what's going on and there's really not much you can do at this point it's like shit you know that kind of energy it's like i'm going backwards here and i don't think i want to fight for this anymore I think that you're being tested, all right? It's like you're, this person is trying to test you. They're trying to test your patience. They're waiting for you to blow so that they can slip into your spot. So just, just keep that in mind. I think somebody is pushing your buttons so that they can slip into your spot. So I'm here to tell you to remain composed. Do not lose your composure. This is absolutely a test um, about how solid and practical you can be. All right. So just keep doing what you are doing and don't lose your temper because somebody is trying to make you lose your temper so that they can um, slip right into your spot in some way just to bring you down. It looks like somebody's trying to bring you down. Um, so, yeah, I think this is a time to just sit back, watch, observe and let this person um be the be the idiot per se i can't think of the word but you know let this person crumble before your eyes don't let it be you okay because that's what's going to happen it's like they're going to be caught because you are practical you are responsible and you are a go-to person so what they're doing will come out okay whatever they're doing to discredit you will come out rest assured all right Somebody's trying to make you blow, whether it's in work or or um, in your home life, whatever. Somebody's trying to push your buttons just to see if you will blow. Now we're moving on to the love portion. Now this could be, the first part could have been regarding a relationship as well. Um, and then, so you could have been dealing with an earth sign or a or a uh, air sign that is trying to push your buttons to the point where things just fall apart for you, okay? They're trying to make things fall apart, but you have the um, you have the ability to just look above it, look above it, okay? You are the one with the tact and the grace and the know-how, okay? So. Really keep that in mind that you are the one that is vibrating on a higher level. You are the one that has the inner force to prevail. You are the natural born leader. So keep that in mind, okay? Whoever is trying to push your buttons is about to fail. That's what I see. I see that them failing and you not giving in to their... Um, ploys all right now let's get to love all right it feels like you guys are you still haven't learned a lesson okay with that world card reversed it's like it's something needs to end a completion is here but you guys just won't let it end it's like it's it's time to step over the finish line but you won't do it you won't do it you won't fulfill your wishes you won't go through that period of renewal. You're not having peace of mind right now. There's no hope. You've lost hope, but you're too scared to take a step. You are. It's like I, I you have so much fear. There's so much fear here of, of 
of living in your own glory. It's like, I can't do it. I can't do it for some reason. I feel like there's a lack of love here. There's a lack of content or there's a lack of uh, um, following your intuition for sure. I mean, but this is very intuitive. But the thing is, is you're not listening to it. You're not letting your, you're not listening to your own psychic abilities because you feel like you know, you already know instead of listening to your intuition. Do you know what I mean? It, there's a lot of confusion here. There is. It's like, I'm confused. I'm confused. I feel like, I feel like you have the power to create something new, but you're not doing it. You're not doing it out of fear. All right. Instead of just charging ahead, moving forward, doing what you need to do, there's fear here. All right, I. It's like you don't have hope in yourself. It's time to let go. It's time to raise your vibration. It's time to have confidence and courage and strength. But I feel like there's a lack of that. You know, even though she's upright, I feel like you lack the courage to, to make the decision that will end a cycle in your life. Because that world card is reversed. It's like you need, there's a new beginning on the horizon, around the corner, in your future, that you aren't letting happen, letting it happen because you feel like there's no hope anyway. I might as well just stay here. You know, that kind of thing. There's no hope for me. I'll never find anybody. I'll never get what I want. So I might as well just stay where I'm at because this is better than nothing. You know, that's what I see. It's like there's a there's a um, need for you to take action, to defend yourself and release the fear and act with courage. Okay, that's what's needed. You need to have no fear. You need to act with courage. You need to flip these two cards over and start that new chapter and have hope for your future and fulfill your wishes. Right now, there's lack of wish fulfillment because you're resisting this change. And I think that you're resisting this change because you just don't want, there's codependency. There's like, I don't want to be alone. And you feel like, that's what it is. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. It's time to use your creativity, which you're not doing. That's why this card is here. This card. This card is here. It's because it's time for you to get creative and use your ability to grow new things. Okay? You have that ability for growth. You have that ability to create you have that passion inside of you, but you're, fe you're letting the fear take over instead of moving forward. You know, it feels like you feel like you're the victim in this situation. Instead of coming out of the cold, instead of feeling comfortable with who you are, speak up. Do what's right for yourself. Have hope in the future. Realize that there's something more. There is a new beginning for you if you could stop resisting this change that is needed. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to move on. This is the outcome. This is moving out of the current situation and bringing about new passion for yourself raising your vibration back up again but you're not taking action you're not it's like you I don't have any hope there's no hope for me there is hope for you See what we can get for love with these angel romance. Oh, you need to trust in the divine, okay? You need to trust in the divine, and that's a strong message that I'm getting. You need to let yourself heal. It's time to start a new chapter. It's try time to... It is. I mean, with the world card reversed, it's time to start a new chapter, but you're just not, you're not doing it. And the thing is, is you need to just trust in the divine plan, okay? You do. You need to trust in what is meant to be is meant to be and that's you're not you're not you need to have hope for your future 
this situation is calling for you to have faith and trust in the divine plan for your highest good. What is for your highest good? Sometimes <coughs> people come into your life just for a season. All right? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That's a big message alone in that card. Speak what you feel. Speak what you feel. Whatever your intuition and in, in gut is telling you, speak it. Speak it. Honestly. And have faith and trust that is whatever is meant to be will be. Have no fear. It's time to defend yourself. Have no fear. It's time to defend yourself. Defend your beliefs. Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron. This is about listening to your inner guide. It is. It's the divine. It's about listening to your divine connection, letting the universe drive, trusting again. But I'm going to read you the card. You have a spiritual connection. Ooh, clarity of thought. This very powerful Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra or third eye, which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. When this card appears, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective toward broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning. See, I told you, you have to really let this new beginning start. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? <coughs> Create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. Have hope. Have hope. Do not think that this is hopeless. Okay? Have hope for the future. Have trust in the divine. So anyway, Leo, this is what I have. I know this isn't the, the love reading that you were looking for. And I tell you that it's not the love reading that you were looking for because... For one thing, there's no new love coming in. We don't have the Two of Cups. We don't have the Ace of Cups. We don't have the Lover's Card. We have none of that, okay? I see that you need to complete a cycle that you're in, and you are resisting it with every part of your being. You're, you feel like this is hopeless. You might as well just stay here. That's not the universal plan. There's something more for you, but you have to have trust and faith in the plan let's get back to your question that you asked at the beginning of the reading do you even remember what it was I don't know if I zoomed that in I'm having a terrible time with that today I apologize something's going on with me um anyhow it is what it is right it is what it is. And I accept that. Do you? Anyhow. Um, your question. Your question. You got it? Do you remember it? Are you there? Are you ready? Remember at the beginning of the reading I asked you to ask a question and at the end we will reveal the answer? Oh, yes. Yes, the answer is yes. That's a clear answer. I don't need to explain it anymore. All right? Whatever you ask, the answer is yes. Yes. 
Leo, that's what I have for you. I wish you the best. God be with you. Talk to you later.